All right, mark your calendars, boys, because April 25th, Marauders will be releasing a new update, a huge update, all right? And in this video, we're going to be covering all the information that was released this past week. Well, hopefully all of the information. I may have missed a few things. <laughs> this video will include the new Colossal Cruiser for players to raid piloted by the United Allies faction. In addition to the cruisers, this means we will also be getting new cosmetics, weapons, and armor. Probably the most exciting thing <laughs> on my list is... Uh, I mean, drum roll, please. Prox chat. All right. I mean, that's right. VoIP is now going to be in Marauders. This means we can now engage in diplomatic discussions with other pirates, um, you know, or maybe even just rubbing salt in the wound for, you know, some poor soul we're about to mow down with nothing but a Luger and 30 rounds of nine mil. I'm really looking forward to it. And if you're a shy little, 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 little person, all right, with the with a little bit of social anxiety, all right? No worries, okay? Because they're also adding a whole wide range of new voice sets, or at least that's what it says in the patch notes, preview patch notes, that is. Second on our docket, we got a trailer for this update, and it gives us a bit of a sneak peek at the Colony Cruiser ship in Raid, as well as a pretty dope dogfight between the Red Baron and an unfortunate space pirate. The Colony Cruiser is a new Raid location that patrols the cold reaches and is the first location that is enterable via both ship docking and pod breaching. So if your ship gets destroyed and you're forced to take the escape pod, you now have another option other than just breaching an enemy ship or frigate or just leaving the raid. In the Colony Cruiser, you will be encountering a new type of AI, the UA Marines. The United Allies faction enemies are bringing in some unique equipment, such as the Sherman plate armor and the heavy M1 helmet. The preview patch notes also hinted at unlocking the full appearance set from killing these enemies, possibly similar to that of the Red Baron outfit, if I had to guess. This trailer also gives us a look at the new scope attachments. This will be the first stage of implementation for scopes in Marauders. These attachments will be available for the SVT-40 and the M16. We are also getting new weapons, which include the Stoner 63, the China Lake Grenade Launcher, and the Mini Thumper. Grenades will also be re-implemented and will be in three different variations. All right, we're talking the Scrap Bomb, we're talking the Flash Bomb, and we're talking the Smoke Bomb. Speaking of weapons, we also have some combat balancing on the way as well. Hip firing no longer suffers from camera recoil and is purely spread based. SMG style weapons will benefit the most with the tighter spread bringing them closer to a viable meta. The other significant change is that players will now deal a headshot multiplier of 3.25 up from 3. Like I know what the f*** that means. The patch notes also goes on to say that this will hopefully have the TTK be deadly but still rewarding to players that hunt for better, you know, armor or weapons. New gameplay mechanics were announced such as explosive barrels as well as new ways to earn loot such as in-rate supply vendors that are being kept secret for now. Probably the most exciting thing is the addition of combat enhancing stimulants known as spice. All right, spice is used for temporarily pausing stamina. I again, I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Dune, so that's pretty fucking cool. Spice. Spice. Yeah, pretty sick. Next, we have the salvaging feature. All right, this seems to be one of the biggest community requested additions. Space wreckage can now contain salvage. All right, a resource which can be brought back on board to your ship so you and your crew can rummage for more loot. This does include, you guessed it, destroyed breach pods the patch notes also hint that there is like i don't know maybe like some kind of time limit or some sort of time limiting feature because it says here be careful not to stay in the airlock for too long i mean unless they meant it like you know be careful you crazy kids don't have like too much fun you know too much fun looting I, I don't i don't actually know other details such as the addition of 14 new ships being added with almost 20 total all right this was previously six the patch notes included that there will be a new ship marketplace system and this will make the ships easier to buy and sell which i'm very happy to hear finally the patch notes indicated that a number of community requested features will arrive in marauders in the upcoming update um, probably the, the most important, well, I want to say most important, but I don't want anyone to be shocked, right? And I don't think this will come as a shock to anyone either seeing this, but there will be a wipe as well. <laughs> all right. So yeah, get ready for that. Use all your gear and your stash. Have fun with it, you know, but <laughs> imagine you're seeing this like the morning of, and you're just like, holy fuck, holy fuck. I could have done so much. I had five STGs I was saving. Yeah, that's rough. 
anyways yeah so that's basically all the information that we have so far to date i mean if you're watching this and the update has already come out you probably already know a lot more um but yeah one last thing before i go though i do want to say that uh i am live all right i'm live every sunday and monday at 6 30 p.m central standard time i am never late never so i don't know maybe uh maybe drop a like subscribe you know come hang out and look at all the good content that you're missing out on yeah, I'm doing that. For free! For free! For free! What the fuck? For free! By the way, I just want you guys to know, I thought of this bit right before going live because this that video just popped up my on my recommendations for some weird reason on youtube completely unknown to me but it popped up on my youtube recommendations i was like oh this could be kind of funny and then as soon as i pulled it up i was getting ready for stream uh my mom came in through the door and uh she just saw me staring at a full screen big ass fucking pair of feet right on my screen so yeah that was a bit embarrassing i'm not gonna lie